The Chicago Bears know they need to upgrade the offensive line trenches after last year, considering they were one of the worst offensive lines in the league last year. And Fields was running for his life 95% of the time on offense. And Ryan Poles has definitely upgraded it over the last back-to-back -back drafts and free agencies. And this offensive line unit is looking pretty good. But you can't rely on your starting five. That's what the Bears did last year and had a ton of problems when players were going down constantly. So you need depth guys. And I think that Ryan Poles and company signed a very good depth piece for this team. Gabe Hoy, offensive lineman from the University of Pittsburgh, was picked up as an undrafted rookie free agent. He is a mean offensive lineman and could be your best friend and is has a Kyle Long type mentality when it comes to defending any of your teammates. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year of Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. I'm going to do a deeper dive into the offensive lineman and why he fits well not only into this offense but into the overall culture of the Chicago Bears and I think he has a good shot at being a depth piece on this roster if not definitely a top practice squad guy if you could please like this video put your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't already if you please could hit the subscribe button so let's go over his physical traits the 6'6 325 pound offensive lineman can play both right guard and right tackle he is an absolutely massive dude at either position he is an arm length of 32 and 3 eighths inches a hand size of seven eighths inches smaller hands for an offensive lineman which is a big reason why i think he went undrafted but i'll get a little bit more into that he runs a 5.3 40 time according to nfl.com which is making him not the fastest offensive lineman but he doesn't need to beat out 4.4440 corners he has a 27 inch vertical which i don't think offensive linemen really need big verticals but just putting that out there for you guys and he bench pressed 225 pounds 19 times in a row he for sure went as an undrafted rookie region said he didn't have the best combine stats but let me break down why he has such a high value according to nfldraftbuzz.com he has a 58 overall rating making him the 84th ranked offensive lineman in the 2023 nfl draft his pass block is ranked 64 out of 100 and his run block is 52 out of 100 in 2021 which is his biggest year in college he only allowed 12 quarterback hurries 13 quarterback hits and two sacks at right tackle not the best i will admit that but he should showed significant improvement in 2022. Unfortunately, it was cut short due to injuries, and he's been impressing coaches at camp so far. According to scouts and other analysts, he's a very smooth offensive lineman. What I mean by that is he has very good footwork and hand coordination, even though he is slightly smaller in the hand department. He does use his overall size to his advantage. He was one of the bigger right tackles, right guards in college the last few years, and can bring a lot of energy and presence in just overall brute strength to this team. He's very good at picking up any sort of one-on-one -on -one rusher when, and he's able to also trade assignments when needed. What I mean by that is that if one of his teammates lets go of somebody and he has the ability to go out and reach while someone else is picking up who he's defending, he is very good at picking that up as he has an incredible football IQ. He's very good at reading defenses and calling for audibles. You've seen him do that in different highlights at Pitt, which I unfortunately don't own the right to. But overall, very good offensive lineman uh, skills and mindset. What I like about him most is that he's mean. He plays a lot like Kyle Long. Fights to the end. If someone goes after his teammate, he is not afraid to go after that person and make it known to stay away from them and be an absolute bodyguard for his off his offense, his defense, his special teams, anybody that's on his team wearing the same jersey. Again, I don't know if he will for sure make this roster, but he has a good shot. He was one of the first undrafted rookie free agents that Ryan Poles had his eyes on, but with his size, his mentality, and what he does on the field, I think he'd be a great locker room guy. We do have a ton of talent at the offensive line department this year, which I'm very excited about, but we need that mentality. We need that bodyguard, and I think that he brings it. I would love to even see him just running in after a play if Fields gets popped or something from the sideline and just I don't care if it's a penalty. Just protect your teammate and get everybody fired up. Put your thoughts in the comment section below about what you think about this video. But with that, thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, have a great day.